What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Nest Hub. They're coming out with version number two or generation number two. Now this is Google smart speaker with no camera and generation two is looking like almost the same exact thing. So there's no camera still on this. You're still gonna get their seven inch 720p display, which actually looks really nice, even though it's only 720p. The new price of this is only going to be 99 bucks. So you're getting a really good price for a really good smart speaker overall. It's gonna have gesture control now. Um, so you don't just have to tap, tap, tap. You can use gestures now to control the device. Also within this, you are able to control and track your your sleep not control it but track your sleep and it's going to do it with their radar system uh, that they have which is a uh, call a solely low energy radar technology it'll track your sleep um, track your temperature that you slept at and all that stuff and then it should feed I believe into the Google fit app and that is pretty much it beyond uh, a 50% increase in bass so when you listen to music, uh, it should sound a little 50% more bassy than it did on the first generation of this. It's available now for pre-order. I'll link it down below. So if you want to take hold of it and pick one up, I would uh, recommend it. I have a few of these. I have the first generations. Very, very nice devices. I love them. Very reliable as well. The next two stories are about the Galaxy Z Fold 3, the successor to the Galaxy Z Fold 2. The first story that we're going to talk about are the colors that this Galaxy Z Fold 3 is going to come in and also the Galaxy Z Flip 2 are going to come in and you'll probably like the colors for the Z Flip 2 more if I had to guess. So let's check this information out. This story comes from Sam Mobile. They have this exclusive and as you can see from here, they're saying we now hear that the Galaxy Z Flip 2 will be launched in a handful of new colors. They include light violet, which is the color I would get it in, green, black, and beige. Beige is interesting for a phone color. And the Z Fold 3 will be available in black and green. That's it, just black and green. Uh, so two colors for the Z Fold 3. They do say though, at the very least though, there may be additional color options as time goes on for both of those devices. Now, I'm more excited about the Z Fold 3 and I think you guys are as well. The color green, the color black. Color green as, as a, a major color to choose from. It's Kind of weird, I'll admit. Black is always a, 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 co a color that's uh, that's uh, classic, that's uh, very wanted. That's a color that people, you know, often buy. So I think you'll probably end up getting, I hope anyway, a matte black. That'll look really nice with the Z Fold uh, 3 line. And then beyond that, the green, I'm curious to see what color green it is. Is it going to be like a rich foresty green? Is it going to be a light green? I doubt it'll be light green. I don't know, I, I might have to choose that color just because it's different. I can't remember ever having a green phone if I remember correctly, maybe I, maybe I did. Maybe I had an H, maybe my HTC was green. I don't remember, but if you guys remember me having a green phone, call it out, but I don't remember ever having one. I don't know, what do you guys think about the colors? Let me know. The last story of the day, also about the Z Fold 3, but also about the Galaxy watches, and it's all about, for the Z Fold 3, it's all about the water resistance of the phone. Is it gonna be water resistance or not? Let's talk about it. So this tweet comes from Chun, and in Chun's tweet, he starts off with the Galaxy Watch Active 4 and Watch 4, saying that there's gonna be no major design changes for those watches, so they should look quite similar to what we got with the Active uh, 2 and the Watch 3. And he's saying no rotating bezel on the Active 4. It didn't have one before. It'll probably have a digital one like it did previously uh, on the Active 2. He's saying the Watch 4 still has the rotation bezel, which I actually like a lot. It's very handy and smooth and easy to use, intuitive. And they're keeping that around for the Galaxy Watch 4. They're saying it's gonna get the same color options as this year's Galaxy Z. Now, I don't know if he means the Z Fold 3 or Z Flip 3, but ultimately below that you see it's gonna have Wear OS, which means that the new Galaxy Watch Active 4 and Watch 4 will have Wear OS, which is Google's operating system. And that means hopefully more apps to choose from, 
but it also means that they're leaving Tizen, which is their operating system that they've had on all their previous other watches. So you might get worse battery life, you might get better battery life, that might be a big selling point for this. Um, but I think app support will be much more improved. And also remember, you're gonna get Google Assistant now on your watch in, uh, and Google Maps. These are great things to be uh, moving over to Wear OS. The last line of his tweet says Z Fold 3, splash resistance in the works, but don't expect an IP certification for now though. So what he means by that is you won't be able to gal uh, grab your Galaxy Z Fold 3 and put it underwater and take photos and videos and pull it right back out or drop it in the toilet and bring it out and it still will work. I mean, it might still work if you do those things, but there's it's not rated for those things for it to actually happen. What he means by splash is, you know, a little bit of splash of a water on the screen or the back or on the side or the bottom or on the top. Somewhere along that, it should be fine. It should be rated for something like that, but underwater, it's not rated for that and could potentially break. So not it's kind of what I was expecting with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. I don't think they're gonna give us everything. Just like, you know, most companies don't want to give you everything. So at that point, we're looking at probably the Z Fold 4 is where, where we'll probably get the water resistance. With the Z Fold 3, you're going to remember, you're going to be probably getting a camera underneath the display on the main display, possibly as well on the, uh, the, the front display. You're getting potentially a thinner body, a lighter body, a smaller hinge. Those things add up for a better overall, you know, experience with the phone. At the same time, it gives us something to want and need for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, what do you think of those colors for the Z uh, Flip 2 and the Z Fold uh, 3? Let me know in the comments down below. For me, if I had to guess, Z Fold 3, I'm choosing green just to be different. And everyone's gonna get black and I always get black phones except for this one, but generally I get a black phone. Uh, and then for the Z Flip 2, I, if, if I got it, I'd probably get that purplish color. Let me know about you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road.